Just a few more adjustments before we begin. Watch, this is Technician Sline. He's been helping me whip this little device together. I just hold the spanners. You can call me Greg. Nice to meet you, Greg. So you're that guy the SCPs have a soft spot for, huh? How'd you manage not to piss any of them off? I wouldn't say I avoided that. Well, they haven't killed you yet, so I'd say you're doing something right. Be cool to watch you in action. If I had to watch me talk the whole time, I'd be bored to tears. Alright, the emitters are operational. You should be safe in the visitor's lounge. You know the drill. Keep away from the glass, refrain from prolonged eye contact, etc, etc. Ugh. A few of the 939s managed to mull a doctor. Sounds like I get to look forward to another shift in the morgue. Look after him, Greg. No problem, Doc. Good luck, Watch. Be careful. Speak for yourself. Is everything ready? All yours, man. I thought alien ninjas were too evil to make an alliance with. Watch! You are back! You said you would only be a week! I know. I was held up by the pig prince and his band of dancing swine. That sounds stupid. You just made that up. I... I thought... <laughs> I know. I am just joking. Did you bring me a present? You are really late after all. I thought about getting you something, but I was just so busy. What is behind your back? What? Nothing. See? Nothing there either. No idea what you can possibly mean. Stop! Why are you being so mean? You don't want me to cry, do you? Alright, alright. Here you go. <gasps> Is that... Your own personal 6A2. Huggable, portable, and dry cleanable. I want to see. Let him in! Cool your jets. He's on his way. Item for transit. He is perfect! This is well made. Did you do this? By hand. I've got the needle jabs to prove it. You did not have to for me. I wanted to. You're my best friend. Thank you, best friend! Not gonna play with them? I need an audience to help me draw. Otherwise, who am I drawing for? You could draw yourself. I would rather draw for them. Well, while well, you've caught me in your audience, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Absolutely! I hardly get to talk to anyone around here. Or at least, they do not usually like to talk back. Oh, don't worry. You'll be lucky to shut me up. <laughs> First things, how are you adjusting to your new room? It is excellent! I have so much room now! The old room was so tiny! My elbows scrape the walls when I stretch too far, and my tree is able to grow. It is very happy. Certainly looks comfier than my room. Why do you not ask for a better one? I did do something wrong. Nothing bad. Well, not bad to you. I'd never hurt you. It was only bad to them? The suit men? Yeah, the suit men. They didn't like what I did, so I don't get a nice room like yours. They must really like me. Do they still give you food? What? <laughs> of course they do. Good. It is not right to let someone starve, even if they have done something bad. I'm sure they'll keep me well fed for a few more years. Do you remember how long you've been here? It must be a long time. The days just seem to mix together in here. It's been almost half a decade since you arrived. Still the same little girl. Is that strange? Yes. Is it bad? Depends on who you ask. I ask me, and I say it is good. Fair enough. Is little 6A2 fitting in with your town nicely? He is a little mean to everyone, but he is nice to teach her. She knows there is more to him than just being mean. If he's so mean to everyone else, what does he see in the teacher that makes him nice? Or not eat her, at least. I do not know. He does not like people knowing what he feels. But I think he secretly likes her for who she is. But this is very strange to him. Why is that? Because he does not like anybody! She is just like everyone else, so why does she not anger him like the rest? 
the hidden sensitive side to 682. I wouldn't say it's impossible. If I did, then I feel my grip on reality would let go. What? I'm just saying, it seems more likely he sees something in her he can relate to. Maybe she's just as bad as he is. Is that true? Are you really as mean as he is? I do not think you're right. She is not a bad person at all. Well then, maybe he knows she has the power to do great things and wants to use her to do great things for himself. That may be, but there is still one thing he has not counted on. What's that? Being a friend with someone so powerful in heart, it changes you. Whether you want to just be friends or use that person from the start. Something so evil wants to be my friend. They had better fear becoming a good person. Your friend? Huh? Are we still talking about the dolls? No, I did not mean the teacher. She... I want the next question. <laughs> What's the point of asking that? What is wrong with the question? Oh, just... I've asked this every interview. I doubt we'll ever get a straightforward answer. I could know the answer. I doubt that. I am smarter than you think. It's not that kind of question. Then ask. All right. Do you know anything about SCP-001? There is a 001? Is he a kid too? Does he want a friend? Hey, how do I get a better number? Whoa, whoa. I thought I was asking the questions. This is important! Being 53 does not sound good, and I do not even know why I'm only made 53! Don't worry, it's not a competition. But still! Hey, being the 53rd SCP isn't too bad. There are thousands of them. How much are thousands? More than a hundred? Much more. That does not sound so bad. Did I beat you? I don't have a number. Oh, I thought... What? Nothing. It is not important. Is 001 a kid like me? Afraid not. Oh. Well, there must be other children. Can we play together? It's not that simple. They're all... different. I like different friends. I like you, and you are an adult. Not that kind of different. It may not be safe. Oh. Okay. I understand. Are you okay? When did you first notice that you could influence the behavior of people around you? Huh? What are you talking about? You know, when... when people get angry. I... I do not know what you... <sighs> I told them you wouldn't know. Uh, have you noticed any strange things happening around you? Not much. You are kind, and Dr. Ray's. He even reads to me from his books on mythical creatures. But... Go on. Some of the people who bring me food, they look at me strange. Some look so afraid of me, while others have anger in their eyes. Like I have done some terrible thing. I have not done anything wrong, have I? Something I could never take back and forgotten it all? No, no, no. Calm down. It's alright. You haven't done anything wrong. I cannot be sure. How do I not know you are lying to me? Do you trust me? Yes. Then believe me. You've done nothing wrong. I hear you've been having trouble sleeping. Nightmares? Want to talk about it? I've been having dreams too, you know. I'm on a dark road. The wet ground under my feet. I can taste the rain in the air. It almost seems frozen. Like a picture. I'm running, and I can feel a hand in my own. Someone is running with me. We're being followed. I can't hear it, but I can feel the breath on my neck. What is it? I don't know. I only see a shape charging after us. I can feel time slowing around me. My hand losing grip as the person with me lags behind. Finally, we let go. What do you do? I'm too scared to turn back. I just leave them. But the thing, it never stops. It's always there, chasing me down, like a guilty conscience. In my dreams, everyone runs away. I am outside, but 
I might as well still be here. I cannot bear the loneliness. I am sad when no one is here. You'll never be alone, even if it seems like I'm not here. Then why does no one come into my room? You know, I have a friend who would be more than happy to meet you. Who is it? It's an SCP. Like you. Is it another kid? No, no. Its name is 999, but we like to call it the Tickle Monster. <laughs> that does not sound much like a terrifying monster to me. Only terrifyingly fun. Would you like to meet it? Sure! Hey, Greg. Any chance we can bring 999 down here? Afraid not. 999 was shipped out yesterday to that new facility. Damn. I think we should take a little break. Think you can grab me a sandwich from the canteen and a number 348 for my friend here? 348? I'm not sure I have the clearance to get that. Tell Jacobs I requested it. He'll give you the okay. If you're sure, I don't want to be anesthetized because of this. What is a 348? It is warming me to my heart! What is it? Not sure, but I think it's some kind of laksa. Do you get your own laksa? 348 is a little difficult to predict. It's a bit random, but it always makes you exactly what you need. I am not hurting it, am I? <laughs> no. Well, this laksa is perfect, 348. Thank you very much! You can hear me, right? Oh. Uh -huh. Watch! Can I ask you something? You just did. Oh, right. I mean, is it okay if I ask you something personal? Sure. Where are you from? Why do you want to know that? You do not talk about yourself much. I told you the dream. I do not know anything about your family, where you grew up, what you do. I like you, but I feel like I do not know you. There... there's not much to tell. Didn't have a proper home growing up. Bounced around Arizona and parts of Texas before heading out on my own. I do not think you are telling me everything. Didn't you have a family? A friend? Was never really user friendly. Always found a way to disappoint them or lose them. You have not disappointed me. And you're pretty hard to lose. <laughs> Some people never had families, but it's not something to pity them over. It's easy not missing something you never had. But... Don't feel sorry for me. I'm making a family now, one step at a time. Have you ever tried to find them? Your family? I know where they are. Oh. What do you think they would say to you? Not sure. We're here for you or something tender family moment-like, I hope. What about yours? What does your bowl say? wrong with you? Did you write this? It always gives you exactly what you need. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. My dad used to tell me this. Sorry to bring this up. The researchers were asking for the 348 back. That's alright. We're finished with it anyway. Roger that. Break's over. Are you okay for a couple more questions? This one's gonna sting a bit, but do you remember your parents? No, not my real parents. We always thought the ones from the village we found you Oh, in. no, that was my family. My father told me he and my mother found me in the desert. They had seen a light in the distance and found a fire. I was nearby. And they raised you, huh? What do you remember of them? My mother was very kind to me, as was my dad. They both felt it was important I learn English and Espanol for when I grow older. So we would play word games. But one night, I heard them having a fight. I cannot remember what happened after, but I never saw Mummy after that. What happened? Daddy said she had to go far away, but she took the rug and nothing else. Where would she go with only a rug? Maybe she just really liked the rug. It meant something to her. Let's move on a little bit. How was life with your father? tried his best to make me happy. 
He worked so hard, and when it was time for me to go to school, he forbade it. Did he say why? He only said for protection. I did not understand what he was protecting me from. They had both been excited to send me to school so I could learn about the world. So what did your father do with you? I stayed at home. Some days he would work, other days he would teach me. He always looked so tired. When he did put me to bed, he would always tell me stories from his childhood. Sometimes he did not finish these stories and the next day he would seem even worse. He never let you out at all? I watched the children playing through the cracks in my window. He had boarded them up. He said, he said they could not see me until it was safe, but they seemed so nice. Anyone who came to our door, he would shout at them until they left. Were you scared? Of him? No. I was worried about him though, afraid of what was happening that he could not let me see. I asked if I could help. He would pat my head and smile and tell me everything was all right with his little girl in his life. There was nothing wrong with me. No, there wasn't. I should have listened to him. I should have stayed inside. You left the house? I could not take the loneliness anymore. I just wanted to play. But the town, they got mad with my father. I wanted to tell them that it was my fault. But when I woke up, they were all lying there. Who was? The town, the people. I thought they were sleeping, and so was my father. But they did not wake up. I was alone. That is when the suit men came and took me here. Do you wish you were still there? Living with your family? I love them. I still do. But I did not like where we were. Here is not so bad. But I miss being able to feel a warm hug before going to bed. Do you know what I mean? We'll sort this out one day and you'll get that hug. Do you think about living a normal life? What is normal? I don't suppose you've experienced much in the way of normal. Do you know what it is like? No. I suppose neither do I. Quite a few people are privileged to the unusual lives we lead. Then we are lucky. Why is that? If we were normal, it would be boring. But you'd probably have more friends and get those hugs you wanted. I guess so. Since I cannot change what I have, I should make do with it then. Unusual comes with its trade-offs. Always the bright side to everything. I think you could benefit, Mr. Negative. There ain't a Wondertainment tag on me yet. Wondertainment? It's... Never mind. Watch? Yeah? Have you ever had anything close to a family? I don't... want to upset you. It would upset me more if you did not say. I, uh... wasn't alone my whole childhood. Who was there? When my parents died, they left me and a little baby girl. I tried to make sure that wherever the system stuck us, we weren't separated. It was easy to tell how little they cared. What happened to her? I often found myself in confrontations with my carers. My sister, on the other hand, she... People got too close to her. She was an easy target. And as hard as I tried, I couldn't always be enough to keep the bad people away. So we hit the road. I thought I could take care of her. That was stupid. I didn't want the system to catch up to us. We kept walking and walking. A long heavy storm came. It never stopped raining. She told me she felt cold, and I just kept leading her further into the dark. But soon, she couldn't even walk. And after that, she didn't even move. The one shred of family I had, and I snuffed it out of existence. I regret it every day. We should have just kept taking the abuse. I shouldn't have done something. Maybe she'd still be alive. You were trying to help her. You were only a child, trying to do something beyond your years. You tried to do the impossible because you knew it was worth leaving rather than staying in the terrible places. It did not stop you from finding another family. I'm trying to. There's still a lot I need to move past. Thank you, though. I am happy to help, my friend. This isn't on the questionnaire, but I'm curious. Do you remember if your parents gave you a name? I never liked it. 
like 053 better. Why? I don't know. Just sounds better to me. You do not like it? Names can mean a lot. They make up a part of your identity. I don't think it suits a child. Seems cold. I see. Then I will need a good name. How's about Lily? I do not want to be called a flower. All right. Madeline. I do not feel it suits me. Hmm. What was your sister's name? Evelyn. Evelyn. It means life. I could not do that. It was hers. Take it. I'm sure it's what she'd want. I think its meaning fits you more than the number 53. <laughs> okay, Evelyn. What did you draw? Can I see? They are not all finished. This one is the town. This is me giving 682 a bath. It is not to scale, and that is us in a park. Are we on swings? I was going to draw us on swings, but you are so big that your feet always touch the ground. I'm not that tall. Excuse me, guys. We only got 10 minutes left. Okay, we'll wrap things up. I just need I to- thought we were going to play now. I know, but we've only got word association to go. We rush through, we can play, okay? Okay. All right. Flower. Sunshine. Sunshine. Flower. Cheeky. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Sky. Heavens. Home. Lonely. Friend. Watch. Scarlet King. What does this have to do with... I'll skip that one. Double entendre or something. Okay, it's just the lights. Everything's gonna- Stay point, I'll find out what happened. You okay? I'm good in here. I am okay. My god, Rage is gonna kill me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It is getting cold. Central heating is off. Don't worry, it'll be back on soon. What is that? I don't know. It does not sound friendly. Greg? What is wrong with him? Move to the back of the room, now! Warning you. Log E18. I've seen so many hours of SCP interviews. 
spend months scouring for anything I can use, or anyone that can help me. Maybe in another world, we could have helped each other. The things you are able to accomplish, how you connect with the subjects, and what you are able to extract. But you're just a pawn, kept under lock and key by the Foundation. I can't let them have you. How you've been able to survive the encounters astounds me, as much as it eludes my understanding. Even after what happened with 053, by all reasonings, you should be dead. She came back, as expected. The technician died, again expected, but you didn't. I can only assume that Jacob is shielding you from the eyes of the other O5 council members, but what I have planned should fix their attention straight on you. There is no other way. Another victim in the long game, and for all intents and purposes, you don't exist. No file, nothing. You can't hurt a ghost, and that's what you are, watch. A ghost. Did you enjoy the video? Why not click the bell icon and subscribe to see more content from us at Tats.Videos. And now let's see the creators of this video.